as you all can see behind me, we got a small pond and we're gonna be trying to fish for some big bass today. Been a minute since we've been out on this beautiful little pond. I mean, it's not big at all, but there's some really big fish in here and I'm just super excited to see if we can catch some because it's been months since we've been out here. We got a few special guests on the channel today. So we're gonna go over here, we're gonna rig up, introduce them, and then we're gonna hop right into it and see if we can catch some big fish. That's the plan on today's video. We're just trying to hunt for some really big ones. We actually went out fishing yesterday. You guys can go check out the video on my channel. It's fishing a 100 year old pond. And I ended up missing like a 10 pounder. So we gotta get revenge today, guys. We have to catch some big ones. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. Share this video with a friend. Let's go ahead and hop into it. So we got Cold Dub. What's good, dog? What's up, baby? And then we got Fletcher. What's good, man? How are you? Today's What's up? the day I make up for the last time we went fishing, aka okay, yesterday, where you just smoked me. <laughs> I, the fish were not having it, and then you missed that giant there at the end. But today we're out here at this little small pond, and we actually have caught quite a few. A lot of big ones. A lot. I mean, a lot of quality sized fish out of here. And I know we missed one that was like pushing like probably eight or nine pounds. So the potential is here. It grows big ones for some reason. But uh, we're just gonna get in here, see if we can't find ourselves a nice one. We're gonna try a variety of things, see what they're munching on, and once we're dialed in, hopefully we find that big one. All right, y'all, we are rigging up. So Cold Dove over here, he's got a chatter donk on the kicking combo. I think I'm gonna probably do the same. I mean, this thing just catches really big fish. And yesterday, this was a key bait, wasn't it, Flesh? Yeah, that thing was getting smoked. Yeah, this bait was just getting torn up. So he's got that paired up on the kicking combo. I got mine down here as well. If you guys wanna check them out, they're only available on kickingtheirbass.com. We're gonna tie this up and get started. I'm hoping, what's our goal today, boys? Like what, like big fish goal? I think we need a five pounder. Five at, pounder. at least a five pounder. I feel like that's, that's the gold standard. Yeah. You know, one five pounder, and I feel like, you know, we're in the big fish club. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, I'm gonna be real though, I think we can get a six. For some reason, around this time of year, like November, I just end up getting a lot of big bites. Oh, yeah. Usually ridiculous bites. Like, I'm talking eight to 12 pounders. I don't know why. But this time of year, for some reason, produces some big fish. So if you guys are wondering about the chatter donk, this is actually a thunder cricket by striking. You can check them out down below. I have a discount code, but this is the white and chartreuse, um, regular chrome blade. And on the back of this, we're going to pair it up with just a standard little rib tail swim bait. So we're pairing it up. This is a standard rage swimmer. I don't have a white one, but it's, it's like, that's like a smoke. Yeah. The smoke translucent one. It should be, should be fine. I think it's the same one you got, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, that looks sexy right there. I'm telling you, this is a big fish bait, guys. Let's put them in the water, see what we can do. Okay, guys, we're going with the Ned Ocho, a little finesse style bait, and we got a mock shad tied on, and then I threw a thunder cricket in my pocket, but a different color than those guys. Noah said the water was looking a little bit murky, so I grabbed a black and blue, but it ain't that murky. But we're gonna start out with the mock shad, see if we can't get something going with this. I haven't thrown this in here yet, so I just wanted to give it a shot, see if I couldn't get some spicy bass to come up and crush this thing. I love how this mock shad suspends. Like when you pause it, it has a really nice flutter and suspension to it. Just like a very slow sink. I feel like it has a good action for this kind of like finicky weather. So boys, this pond has some big ones lurking. Usually every time we come out here, we end up hooking into a really solid one. And I believe the last time I was out here, I lost one that bleeds around seven, eight pounds. So hopefully we'll get onto a few of them today. My, my plan with this chatterbait is to throw it out there, let it hit the bottom and just slow crank this thing. I'm talking just really slow. We had a big cold front blow in. It's been 35 to 45 degrees every day. Today it's about 55, which is a little warmer than it's been. So I'm hoping these fish are gonna turn up, but they were so finicky yesterday, but we ended up catching them on this really good. But we had to work it a certain way. You can't just throw it out there and just reel it in. We had to throw it out there. I got beamed it across that pond. Let it sink to the bottom and just slow crank this puppy. No, nothing crazy. And they'll just load up on it. They'll eat it. One thing we got to be careful with in this one is the grass. There's a good bit of slop. Oh, there we go. <laughs> First fish. Not the giant we're after, but we're on the board. That's, a, that's refreshing. It took me two hours to get a bite yesterday <laughs> when we went fishing. So I'm glad I got one in the first two minutes instead of the first two hours. Right in front of that bite? Uh, yeah, I mean, kind of like right, yeah, kind of right in front of that for the most part. Thanks for the munch there, a little pit squeak. 
you back right on in there. All right, Mark Chad, I see you. I see you. Let's just find something bigger, man. Something big, something girthy. Come out and crush this thing. All right, let's see who's gonna get on the big one, boys. I don't know, boys. I just have a feeling I'm gonna be the guy. I'm going to be him. I'm Himmy Neutron today. First challenge didn't go so well, but we just battle. We just continue to battle, focus on the task at hand, and never, ever lose faith. They're gonna move around left, and I'm gonna move around right. They might know something I don't know, but you know what? Every once in a while, your boy gets real lucky. Oh my gosh, right there, the bank, man. Holy smokes. <laughs> there you go, Lock Chad. Goodness gracious, man. Is that a fat, small fish? That thing is chunky. Get these hooks out of here. The hooks on these mock baits are just insanely sharp. Thank you for the bite there, fella. Yeah, I just had a bite right there. Right when I sped it up and slowed it down, he hit it. It's so weird. Throw it back in. Bro, I've had three bites right here. Just nibbling at it? Like three casts in a row. He's just not eating it all the way. Might be small. All right, guys, I think we are going to move spots. It's just not, you know, caught a couple of fish here but they're not the size that we want purpose of today's video is to find the big ones and if they're not biting too well in here it's probably the best bet that we just pick up and go somewhere else so i will catch y'all at the next pond all right on to the next we get it boy getting that spicy b-roll over there <laughs> all right y'all So boys, this pond is very clear. It's got some really big ones in it too, so. I'm hoping we'll just walk up on a little wolf pack right here. And I think we will. Crush them. So we were just talking about it. There's usually some fish you can kind of spy on them. Yeah. Uh, oh, yep, see, see there's three. So how do you guys want to do this? Uh, I think we just throw in at the same time. Or Hold maybe on. one person catch one and then throw in. All right, here. I'll hook one and then get ready, watch. There's one over there in the corner. Oh, they they are finicky. They saw us kind of walk up on them. Oh, this one looks, this one's looking at my net bait. Is he? Yeah, they should eat that pretty good. You see that one, Cole? Yeah, right there. See him swimming up to where you were? Uh -huh. You're gonna catch that one. That one in that corner there. Yeah, go for it. He's going towards my bait now, shoot. They're always squatted up right here. Oh, I got a big one on me. Oh, dude, they're, they're all, they're all weirded out, bro. That's that big one I caught yesterday, literally. We still not here yesterday, guys, for Fletcher's video. And they were eating really good. And now I just think they're a little spooked. They know what's going on here. See him running away from my bait? You see him right there? It's like a three and a half. It's a fatty. Dude, you can catch one on your net bait. Look at him looking at it. I think I'm on time on a jig. I just feel like that chatter donk, it'd be good in certain areas, but in this pond in particular, I just feel like the water clarity is so bright that vibration and the chartreuse is a little much. I think you're you're kind of overdoing it with that. What's on this green pumpkin jig? That big one's nosed up on me. See that? Yeah. Look at him. He's coming up to just smell me. He don't even care.
He don't even, he don't even turn this hood. There's a nice one right here, dude. He just runs away from the jig. <laughs> These fish are so finicky. It's crazy. You're fishing that clear water too. I feel like they can see you. Like you're standing up on like a hill right here. I feel like they can just see you. There's a nice one right there. Oh, he might eat it. Oh no. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna eat it. He's gonna eat it. He's coming up to me right here. Oh yeah. He's he's fired up. Let's see. That fish actually showed some emotion. Trying to just walk in the banks, guys, trying to see if I spot anything. Just kind of sight, sight fishing right now about breaking my ankle. If I can get this like high ground on this hill right here, I can kind of see. We're gonna walk this way, I have an idea. There's like a little spot, I think there would be a few sitting. I don't see one, but I feel like there's one over here. There might be right there. See if one comes out of the blue. Are you that fishy? I didn't. Oh, he ate it. Oh my gosh, he ate it right there. He came out of the grass. Do I have him hooked? I don't think I have him on there anymore. And I'm stuck. I am stuck, Chuck. Is there actually the? I don't know if the fish is on there or not. Oh my god, there's another one that's big, pulling up. You don't see anything here, buddy. He's going right up to the grass. He's gonna see his friend stuck there. Oh yeah, yeah, he's not on there. Maybe I can catch this other fish. That sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh, I, I was like hopping, and I'm like, yeah, there's no fish here. He came right out of the grass that was up on the bank. I still got hope though. The other fish just pulled up. I don't know where he went. Dang it, dude. I have no, oh, he's right there. He's right there, he's coming up on me. No way. Oh yeah, yeah, he's gonna eat it, guys. He's gonna eat it. I don't know if you guys can see him right there. Look, he's right on my jig, he's right on my jig. Look. Yes, I caught him. That was so cool. I don't know if you guys can see that on the GoPro. I mean, that's a good two and a half pounder. Wow, that was such a cool catch. I was trying to show you all. I don't know if you could see him pulling up on the jig, but that is so cool right there. Look at that. Beautiful bass, nothing big, but just a good sized fish. He ate that jig. Thank you, buddy. Thank you so much for eating. I'm gonna get you right back in the water so you can swim, swim off. I had your buddy a second ago, but he did not want to stay on. Little, little fat dude, little two pounder. Okay, I'm gonna have to go put you in the water over here because I do not want to chuck you like 15 foot. At least I can toss you right over here slightly. At least I can kind of give him just a friendly toss right here. Thank you, buddy. Wow, that was awesome. Well, we missed one, got redemption on the second one. Let's see if there's some more fish. I'll tell you, it's so hard to fish this bank, but it's also good at the same time because you're kind of getting blocked by the, the grass here. There might be another one up on this bank. Let's see. It's so shallow and so clear. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see a good fish. I don't know if he saw me or saw my bait. Here. I can't see him anymore, the weird sun glare. He's somewhere right there. Oh, there's one out here. Oh, he just swam away. That had to have been the one that I hooked. He already knows. He's like, I'm not messing with that bait. That's funny. I like threw out there. I was probably 10 foot from him. And he was like, I'm not. He turned his head right around. Whoa. That was just my bait. Dude, my bait looks crazy on the bottom. It looked like one was chasing. Oh, there is one. There's a little tiny one behind me. 
Will he eat it? I think he just ate it. He's tiny. Oh, no, I just spooked two right there. No! They're right there. Oh, wait. He's gonna eat me, actually. Yep, he ate it. <laughs> that is so cool sight fishing these bass. Oh my gosh, like, I thought I didn't have a chance with this fish. And as quick as it goes right there. <laughs> that is awesome. Beautiful markings on this bass, not a big one. Still have yet to find like a really good fish. It, oh my God, your teeth are so sharp. Yeah, no wonder you ate that easy. This, this fish right here has been chomping, man. His little teeth are brutal. Thank you, Bubba. Oh, there's another one there. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Watch this. Watch this. There we go. One hand cast, watch. Oh, oh my God, I got a good one. Oh, I missed him. Oh no, what am I doing? I need, I need help. Plancher, come here. I got a bass right there. I gotta grab him. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> hey, chill out, dude. Because I had him in my hand and I was about to release him, but I saw a fish. And I was like, I'm gonna try to cast. And then he flopped out. Huh? I said, hey, you was just like, all right, dude, chill right here. Yeah, I just told him, hey, sit. And then he started flopping. So, you know, he, he wasn't wanting to listen. I don't have any trailer anymore though. The other one just literally slurped my trailer right off. Yeah, that one did. I, I, well, I spooked them. I walked up on the bank and they like darted off and I was like, ah, that sucks. And then all of a sudden I was like, wait. Let's try it. So there's, hey, 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 school of fish, school of fish. Really? Cast right next to me. Right next to me. Oh, there's, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's three. You see that one Roman? It's crazy how you can see all that. I can't tell if they're honest or not. One just swam. The one I was trying to go for is in the middle. I think there's one looking at you. The one I cast it, that's way out there. <laughs> it's so crazy that you can see that far. I know. Next spot. Yeah, we got to find some biggins. I haven't found no biggins. It's just supposed to be a biggins episode. We, we trying for y'all. Uh oh. Got him. Oh, I he spit it out. There's two. Throw throw your bait in there. My my jig's literally on the tree. You see him right there? I can't see him. He he went right down for it. They're right there. He's turning, he's turning. You see that? Oh yeah, I see him now. He's gonna eat you. He's very very aggressive. Grab this tree. Oh, that sucks. See, he wasn't hesitant at all. That fish was right on it. What a mess I got going on. <laughs> not at all? No. I mean, I'm. You see how hard I'm hitting that. Oh, I think I got it there. I think it was stuck on something. That fish is still under there. Oh, I had it undone in it. Wait, here we go. You're about to see the craziest clip flush. I'm gonna get this on high. I'm gonna flip and catch that fish. <laughs> Why well, won't it come? All right, all right, there you go. That fish comes out. Watch. Eat that thing. I'll be shook. No, you're about to watch it. Watch. Yeah. All right, y'all. Pond number, I'm pretty sure four. This is what we're working with. Beautiful pond. It's not really small, but it's got some really big fish in it. So we wanted to stop by because today has just not gone as planned. I mean, it's cold as can be out here. It's getting colder because the sun's gone. 
and the fish just have not been biting that well, especially the big ones. So I'm gonna go back. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna keep continuing to fish with the jig and see if we can get a big bite. But there's a bunch of brush out here in the middle and I think there could be a tank hidden up down there. So let's go ahead and rig up and hook us into a tow. Okay guys, we are pulling up to a pond that I have caught some enormous bass out of. This pond has produced quite a few giants. Four or five fish between seven and eight pounds. I caught a 10 pound hybrid bass. My dad caught a 10 pound hybrid bass in here and a nine pound. So there's, there's some potential. There is definitely a lot of wiggle room for a nice size fish in here. See what we can do. This, this place is so hit or miss. It's like they're you either catch them pretty decent or it's like hard to get bites, but they're so fat. Probably the bat, the fattest bass I've ever caught in my life has came out of here. Hoping we get a couple of these to bite. They're just biting so weird. Usually on a cold front, you'll you'll have a lot of bites, but we have not had a ton. I think I got one. Oh, that's yeah. a good one, dude. First cast. Really? Yeah. That it's actually a good one. one. Yeah. yeah, baby. Am I you had a feeling. Look at that. Oh yeah. He ain't even big, dude. He felt freaking large. I think I was pulling him out of that tree. Yeah, it is. It's pretty fish. Not giant by any means, but hey, first cast at this place. And to Fletcher, I was telling him it's like not easy to catch them here. So no. that's a great, that's a great sign. They're usually fat, like huge. Yeah. I just don't know the weather, the conditions today. <clears throat> Yesterday, I feel like the big ones were biting. Today, it seems a little. A little different, you know? A little slower. I don't know. We just haven't really had many big. Be I did too. When the sun came out, now the clouds are back out. Who knows? Maybe these big ones will start munching. I mean, if there's one, there's definitely more, right? There's one. Get him, Bubba. Got him. Got him. Got your ass, boy. How, uh, how do you bite it? Just barely picked it up. I, I saw it. I saw him moving with it, you know, before I realized he had it. That's how that fish was. He just kind of loaded up on it. Yeah. And you film ticket. That's about the same size. About the same size. Just a just a little guy. Interesting. Interesting. Because usually when we get a bite in here, just they just tend to be bigger. So this is not a pond, but it's a little stop on this lake that we can hit. The bridge we can flip around real slow a couple lay downs got these pilings might be able to catch a few here that'd be awesome if we could let's see let's see what we can do so the biggest fish i've actually caught out here was right here on a frog that's the craziest thing we did the same thing. We kind of stopped here. We were frog fishing. It's kind of the same deal. Wanted to catch another fish and ended up catching like an eight pounder. Oh, oh, oh. He's, he's running at me. Wait, 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 what? Fletcher, I got drilled. I'm talking like, this might be the honey hole. Is that your first cast? Yeah, I was just telling him the biggest fish I caught out here was right here. Frog. Yeah, smoked it. Dude, that, that right there was a good bite. Yeah, there we go. Got him. Got him. Yeah. He's running at. He's running at me. It's a crappie. Oh my god, it's a huge crappie. Golly, look at that slab. There might be multiple. That is a That is a slab and a half, man. He hit this big jig. Golly, boy. That is, that is a certified slab right there if I've ever seen one. Wait, that's crazy. That's a, yeah, that's a tank. I know a lot of y'all would love to take that home with you. That one? No, I got a tree. <laughs> <laughs> that one, the whole bag is coming out. Yeah, it's definitely not. 
Oh. Oh. Wow, I can't believe you got that out. But I break off on on fish, you know? Yeah. But I can literally just torque on this stick. Well, that is a nice one, guys. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Share, share the channel with a friend. I'd really appreciate it. We tried so hard today to find these big ones, but we just couldn't get them. If you guys want to check out Fletcher's channel, check it out down below. And I will catch you all in the next episode of Kicking the Rest. Peace.